Yo, what up? My name is Vile, uh, one half of Auburn. What up? I'm Ali Alep, I'm the other half. Coming to you live from Tumpadong in Manhattan somewhere. Uh, got a mixtape coming out called Telex. Uh, I mean, we got, you know, a couple, couple features from some people. Uh, my boy Suleiman, God Jewels uh, from Chicago, Maggie Horn of uh, Telephone uh, slash Fools Go Records, and it's just like kind of a compilation of some of the stuff we're working on leading up to the the full length album, and it's just been pretty much uh, yeah taking you on this on this little journey that me and me and Elliot have been on. I you know. Spend some time working over there in, in New York, and he spent some time over here. So yeah, uh, the new record is is in progress right now. It's called Data Set. Uh, it's gonna be coming out via Box of Milk uh, recordings. And yeah, we're stoked about it. You wanna tell the story on how we met? Yeah, sure. Like, okay, I was living in Chicago at the time. Um, I already bought a CD of mine from. Uh, Tower Records. I had a bunch of CDs in some local record shops in, in Chicago for sale. And Al just randomly happened to pick up one of them and I had my email address in there. And he wanted one of the beats on there and he wanted to rap on one of the beats. So he hit me with the email and then we met up and I heard some of his stuff. And then we just hit it off and started making music together. And this was back in probably like 04. 04, yeah. With, with, with uh, Off Runners when we first really started. You know, going full time with the real project, and, you know, just actually focusing this much attention on it, and, and it's—I feel like uh, it's been, you know, even though there, like it's been a long time, and, you know, like building up to it, but we know each other's style so well now that it's just like when we get together and start working, it's just—it's like a reflex as everything comes together. You kind of already know what direction I come from in my music and you know what direction Elliot comes from in his music but the stuff we make together doesn't necessarily sound like you can't just go oh that sounds like an Elliot lip beat or oh that sounds like something that Vile produced it's like we kind of kind of came out our faces for this one so yeah yeah I mean there's <clears throat> we, we bridge gaps between like Italo Music on some of these songs. Yeah. My lyrically my music definitely is a reflection of you know current pop culture uh, you know aspects of pop culture that tend to affect us all so I always kind of take that into consideration when making tracks but I mean if you know me you know that you know I'm like quote unquote Four to six years ago, I definitely came up in like the weirdo scene, whatever you want to call it, like nerd rap scene. So I feel like that, I mean, that scene has done a lot for hip hop and is the reason why a lot of people approach songs the way they do now. But, uh, you know, it's, it's always, we're always showing a growth and, you know, moving moving forward with our music so I feel like when people listen to our music it's an it's the natural progression but especially with Auburn it's a uh, it's something that we hope you know hope to be uh, classics we set out to make you know we set out the same way we set out the same way Quincy Jones set out you know when he was putting tracks together for for Thriller or something like that we want to try to give the most we can give in that little four minute window of a song and every song has a purpose and you know it, you know it's it's good music you know what I mean? so it, i feel like it has a last i feel like um, like the artistry being lost in music these days sometimes is like producers are trying to make 
constantly trying to make like the town but keep up with whatever popular or trendy and um and it just expires you know like there's people who every year they gotta re- reinvent their whole step their whole style their whole sound and um I don't, I don't know, I want to make music that's classic. Like I still, when I play out live, I play tracks off my first record that I put out in 04, you know? Like songs I made in 03 and stuff. And I know people who can't play their tracks that they made last year. Yeah. You know, because that now they're making all different style. And then I feel like that's where a lot of the artists, like, that's where it's lost. It's like, make, people are making music that expires. And I, I just don't see the point in that. I would rather make something, try to at least attempt to make something classic, you know? Yeah. We try to keep and Especially thinking. when there's so much music I listen to that's from years and years ago that I, that I, that I wonder, like, why aren't people trying to make music right now that it's going to still, you know, it's still going to last and it's still speak to people, like, generations down the line. You know, inherently, if you've been ever following my music, my music is super vocabulary heavy and, you know, with, with, the, ultra, with the ultra metaphors and everything. But. I mean, truthfully, it's like how many, I mean, pop music means popular music. Just because it's pop does not mean it's bad. Like, some of the best pop artists ever, you know, don't have to, like, they don't have to go through the bubblegum effect or dumb themselves down to be pop. I, I'm going to say, I listen to Lady Gaga. I listen to... I, I me and me and my man's will bump once or twice. Let's not get it twisted. You know, you know, some like K- Katy Perry stuff. Whatever, whatever, what have you. I like all different types of music. So, I mean, just because you see me around people that make pop music, I mean, that's not a bad thing. You should, no matter if you're in your, no matter where you are in your art, the fact that you're popular shouldn't be. Anything that would make you want to step back from any yeah, man, I feel like, approach. I feel like any, anything has the potential to be pop music. You yeah. Know? Like, any style of music has the potential to become pop if it's popular, you know? And yeah. Because you, you, you watch the trends, the change of pop music, and you, you hear artists that are sometimes really experimental become like pop bands or pop artists. Yeah. And, I mean, like, one. Like when I first started listening to rap, you know, and like it was all like, it was, you know, and I, it was, there was so much underground rap. Yeah, I, I had no idea that like this stuff that became mainstream, whatever, you know. Like I never would have thought, like, like what's like what's where it is now with with rap, music, with hip hop music being like the number one you know, genre. Or for so long, you know, I, I just I could never like, picture that back in the day, or even. Just bands like Radiohead and, and what they've done with how experimental they are, but still being like considered pop music, you know? Yeah. Uh, that kind of, I mean, so when people ask if you're trying to make pop music, you know, I feel like in a way everyone, no matter what genre of music you're making, you know, it, it still has the potential to, to be, be popular. Pop music, you know? Yeah. It's not. It's not a genre that really exists. You know, you couldn't just call it nerd rap or just. Calling, you know, club rap or anything like that. No, and we're that's a problem, and that's a good thing, you know. Yeah, and Auburn, we're definitely not going for the. What's he drinking? Four or something? Double, double sec. Me, me, and, like <laughs> uh, one thing though, uh, like Auburn, we're not going for the. We're not making up our own genre or something. I mean, now, I mean, if a journalist or whoever wants to call it something, that's cool, but. I came out with a mixtape series called Oh, I Think They Like Hotronics. And for however long amount of time, whatever I was making is, oh, what's that, that Hotronic beat? That's Hotronic? No, it's rap music, family. <laughs> like, you know what I mean? I'm not. I'm, I don't know. We, don't, we just don't want to be pigeonholed. That's all. Yeah. 